it's a pretty chilly day. Harmony is just skipping to warm up. Okay, guys, today, today we're doing the drawing for the roll recovery R8. All right, we've got some, got a lot of entries. We're gonna do a drawing at the end of this video. All right, after I get back from the run, we're gonna be talking about shoe rotation and then Harmony and I are gonna be showing you some stretching that we've been doing. And it's not your normal stretching for running. What is she doing? I'm cold. Maybe if you're cold, wear more than a bra and shorts. <laughs> it is cold out. All right, let's, uh, we'll catch up after the run. All right, good job. How you feel? That was fun. Hard. <laughs> good stuff. I just dropped Harmony off. We did 5.2 together. It's a lot of fun. Now I'm heading out for just a few more miles. Probably about four at GMP. When you guys are watching this, my race will be the next Sunday. So yeah, my race is coming up. Exciting stuff. First goal of 2020. Hi guys, awesome run, awesome run. 14.6 miles or 23 and a half kilometers. That was my last half effort before my, um, my goal race, the St. Petersburg Distance Classic on February 9th. Okay, okay, so let's get inside. We are gonna talk briefly about shoe rotation and why you should rotate your shoes. I'm gonna show you what I do with rotating shoes. And I wanna hear from you guys. Do you guys rotate your shoes? And if you do, do you change brands? All right, so do you run in Saucony one day and Asics on the other just to mix things up? All right, and if you don't know why you should do that, I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. Then Harmony and I are gonna do some stretching. Let me get inside, get cleaned up, and we'll wrap this up. Oh, and don't forget the drawing, the drawing for the roll recovery R3, orthopedic foot roller. Oh, I have enjoyed using that. Okay, we're gonna do the drawing in just a few minutes. All right, inside. Hey guys, stay tuned. We are giving away this, the Roll Recovery R3 in just a few minutes. But first, listen, do you remember back in June? I know you don't remember, most of you don't remember because only 40 something people watched the video, but Harmony and I posted a video of us at Seattle airport and we were doing some stretching and this was back in June. And I said that I wanted to get my splits. Then six months passed and I really didn't do any stretching. But then the new year came about, 2020 came about, and I decided, you know what? I am gonna work on stretching, and I'm gonna work on getting my splits. So that's what I've been doing. So I'm gonna show you, with Harmony, our stretching routine and what we're trying to do. We're doing it once a day. I'm doing it maybe once every other day if I'm working, but I'm trying to do it once a day. This is just going to be a very quick montage of Harmony and I stretching and us trying to get our splits, and listen, Stay tuned to this channel because I will be updating uh, when I finally do get my splits. And if you never see another video about it, it's probably because I gave up. But this is it. what we're doing. We usually do one minute twice on each leg in like the full splits or you know as far as we can get down in the splits. Write in the comments, can you do the splits? Have you ever worked towards them? Because I want to know how long it takes. Hopefully this will make me a better runner or at least 
make me a better split doer. Let me talk about my running shoes and how we rotate them in just a second. Then we're doing the drawing. Roll recovery R3. Okay, on to shoes. All right, my friends, let's talk briefly about running shoes. I wanna know from you, how many shoes do you keep in rotation? All right, let me know in the comments below. Why should you rotate your running shoes? Well, it's because running shoes generally take at least 24 hours for the midsole foam to bounce back to its normal shape. If you run before that time, you might not be getting the cushioning that you really need to stave off injury. In fact, a study showed that runners that rotate their shoes are 39% less likely to get injuries. And I'll link to that study in the show notes below. If you run in different shoes, all right, this is gonna benefit you because you're gonna be running slightly differently. We all know that running is very repetitive. So if you're running in shoes that don't quite fit right, and you may not know it, your body will be overcoming those inadequacies of the shoe. It might lead you to overcompensate in one area or another, which could lead to injury because of the repetitive nature. What do I use? Now, I am running in these Skechers Go Run Max Road 4s, and I'm rotating in these Nike Zoom Fly threes. You probably remember I have done reviews on both these shoes and I will be adding another shoe to my daily rotation coming up very shortly. And I'm going to try and keep different brands for the reasons I talked about before. It's also very important that you only use your running shoes for running. If you wear your running shoes to the gym or you wear them out walking, that can change the foot pattern. You land differently when you're just walking around the gym or you're going out for a walk. So that could change the pattern and that could affect you when you run. Over the course of 20, 30, 50, 100 miles, that could lead to injury because of the repetitive nature. I have these old Zoom Fly first editions that I have retired from running, these are now my walking around shoes. As soon as one of my running shoes gets retired, I will then move them in the place of these and these get donated to Goodwill. I have these Zoom Flies. These are kept in my work bag in case I need to go for a run at work. If I run on trails, I have these Nike Wild Horse that I keep. I got these OG 4%, okay, these are my racing shoes. They're getting a little long in the tooth. I'd say these have one race left in them. And actually that race is gonna be next week from when you're watching this. So then these 4% will be retired and I'll probably end up buying another pair or next percent for the New York City Marathon or another marathon in the end of 2020. So guys, those are my shoes. I'd love to hear what you think about rotating shoes. Also, if you use shoes for different types of runs. Let's get on and do the drawing for the Roll Recovery R3 Orthopedic Foot Roller. Drum roll please, let's go to the computer. All right, my friends, it is the time you've been waiting for. You are going to be in the drawing to win this Roll Recovery R3. This is my one. I have really enjoyed using it and I'm really happy for whoever is going to get to win it. Okay, let's go right to the, uh, the random drawing software. Hey guys, you know there's only 21 people entered, so there is a great chance for one of you 21 people to win. It's not like, you know, there are a million subscribers to this channel and half a million people entered. No, this is like, this is the best odds you're ever gonna get, so good luck. Okay, names are entered. We are gonna scroll down and hit start. Oh boy, look at all these names. All right, Rachel Wynn, congratulations. You win the R3 orthopedic foot roller. Congratulations, I am so happy for you. I'll be in touch and we can figure out how to get it to you. All right, boom, that's it. Guys, oh, happy days, happy days. Happy day for Rachel. Rachel, I'm so glad you won. Okay guys, that's it for today. Be kind, be happy, run well, and I'll see you next time.